Hello and welcome back to Rockwood. As we follow our citizen here into the city, you may notice a few minor changes. Oh! <laughs> I have been through and gone nuts with the um, road marking tool. And also gone through and removed a few crossings. Let's see what we need to do today. Right, so we have a need for more residential. We're still trying to get up to high density. I'm sure we were. Let me just check. Oh no, we've got high density. That's good. Good, 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 good. Okay, so we can stick a high density area over here. It may be an office area along the back here to shield the noise from the roads. We are going to need... Oh, jumpy game. Bear with me. Okay, we are going to need a bigger road into this area, I think, being the high density. Um, hmm. I was thinking of coming off the roundabout, but the roundabout is kind of... Woo <laughs> so, let's not do that. Let's come in off of here. However, that does mean having two junctions, well, three junctions next to each other. Um, I don't really want to come off the back of this one. What is this? This is a little shopping area, isn't it? Yeah. I remember. On occasions, I remember things. <laughs> Not very often, but on occasions. We could... Um, firstly, yes. Stick a key in along here. Let's do that. There we go. Okay, so once the water's finished um, sloshing about and chucking itself all over the place, that should be fine. That looks nice. That looks actually pretty cool. Uh, I wonder if we can join it up to this one. Give it a go. See if we can just do a bit of... Uh, Joiny, joiny. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> uh, that seems to have gone underground for no apparent reason. Hmm. Maybe we can use the move it mod. Oh, they are connected. <laughs> sort of. They're being stupid. Stupid, stupid. Maybe this one doesn't like that one. Maybe what we'll do then is just grab this one and just move it across like that and drop it down a smidge so it kind of lines up. There we go. Move it back a bit as well. That would be fantastic. There we go. Okay. Now they meet. <laughs> Okay, so our area is keyed off and ready to rock. Uh, do we flatten this? Hmm, I think not. But I think something interesting might be good over here. Let's start with a main road around the outside. Nice for Oo Road. And we'll just go around the outside and go from there. Okay, we're going to go back to the old-fashioned way of doing it. Get the Move It mod out. Which was already out. Yep, the tree. And delete the blooming lot of them. Oof. Okay, well, when I say the blooming lot of them, I mean all the ones except the ones that are actually on the road. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Uh, and then one's there as well. As we're going to put a road there and we know that they're going to get in the way of the road. Right, let's get shot of all of the trees. Okay, let's continue. Okay, so we've changed it again. It's hooked into there because it wanted to delete all of that. And I worked too hard on that for it to be deleted. <laughs> okay, let's take this back a smidge. Okay, so we have our main outer ring road. As I said, we're going to put offices all round. Not all round the outside, just round the bit where the main road is. 
and along the back here, which means, I think, we're going to have ourselves an IT cluster. Why the heck not? Let's make that an IT cluster. Is this one here? And then we will fill that outer ring with offices and go from there. But first, we need to fill the inner sanctum with roadie tough stuffs. specialization I think down there and this is going to be high density now I have downloaded whether they work or not it doesn't matter but I have downloaded um, some blocks of flats and things and I really really want to try some of them out the last time I tried them it didn't work too well so, we're going to try them again, and see if it was because I don't think at the time I had any um, high density enabled. Um, I'm not sure what they're called. Oh. If I can learn to type, that would help. <laughs> oh. Okay, so we're going to try a couple of these. It's been a bit slow for some reason. There we go. Okay, and we're going to get one of these because hey, that's pretty cool. A nice corner unit. Go, okay, put that one there. putting all these in and the last time I did this I put in tower blocks like these ones here for instance which I'm gonna do now put those in like that these ones actually grow in after you start it up and the rest of it I'm just gonna do normal high density because um, as I said, I'm not sure if those are going to stay put or not. Uh, let's get some high density on the go, go, go. Then we're going to put some high density shops in uh, this area. Actually, just thought of something. Bear with me. We do have a supermarket. That shouldn't actually go there. I was say, Anarchy's not turned on. Okay, that'll just go about anywhere I want to put it. <laughs> not that end. Okay. Let's go... Oh, end. Okay, that's gone like... Oh, wibbly wobbly, wibbly wobbly. That's no good at all. We shall sort that out in a second. Let's bulldoze it and we'll do a little land monkeying. Gonna need to do a bit of road monkeying as well. Control an H to that height so it brings it up like that. 
Uh, let's take that one and that one and that one and control an H to that height so to land all levels out. Fantastic. That's what we like to see. Okay, and then back to the find it mod and back to our Asda store. There we go. Now it sits properly. <laughs> Couldn't have it like sitting up in the air like that. That was just stupidly wrong. Right, where was we? Oh yes, putting in shops. Oh, if I remember rightly, we also have an Aldi's. Oh, no. Ooh, it's only small. Good, that'll fit. That end. Oh dear. <laughs> Land monkeying required. Okay. Right, let's put shit like that. And do a bit more land monkeying and pop in at our Aldi's. Still a bit monkey fied, isn't it? Not as bad as it was, but it is monkey fied. Uh, let's use the move it mod. Let's lower it down a smidge. Let's level with this part of the road and then take that part of the road. And do a bit of that. There you go. Okay, that's not too bad. Okay, now we need to put our offices in around the edge. And that area is very nearly complete. The reason I didn't bring this road sort of weebly wobbly along here is I thought this area here would make a nice little waterfront property area. However, I wasn't banking on this. <laughs> oh god, look at that. That's not good, is it? Okay, let's use the uh, network multi tool and do a bit of uh, from there to there. And go. Oh, that's like all, all of it up. Gosh darn it. I mean, it has given it a nice slope, but that road is now way too high to come off of in order to bring it in here. So, what we're going to have to do is... Oh, we're going to take that bit there and lower it down so it's kind of level. Like that. And get our multi tool again. From there, there, that, and no, oh, you're just going to bring it all up, aren't you? Yeah, that's what I thought you were going to do. Yeah, undo that. Okay. Get the move it mod out again. Oh wait, there's a low bit there. Maybe we can use that bit. Lower that right down a smidge, there we go. Okay. Is that very, very steep? It's a little steep, isn't it? Let's uh, lower that down a bit as well. Oh, too much. There you go. It does mean all these roads are kind of uppy, downy, roundy, roundy, but <laughs> it doesn't really matter because we are going to, as I said, put in a little waterfront area here. Now, <laughs> I've never used this tool before, so bear with me. It's this one here, if I remember rightly. Yeah, parallel road. There we go. There. To there. Uh, okay, how do we change size? Control space to select step over. Plus, plus or minus to change offset, change height, which creation side, tab, hey, there we go, that's better, oh. unfortunately tab also does the uh, camera, <laughs> okay, so let me have that following that, uh, we are on bindi bendy. Perfect. 
Um, why is there no... There's no zoning along here. Why is there no zoning? Hmm. That is odd. Zoning is on. That's very odd. Okay, let's try... Nope, that's not happening. <laughs> Uh, zone in dirt four. Okay, so why is there no zone on this road? Okay, let's change it to this one and see if it puts zone in. Yep, there it goes. Okay. That's very odd. Right, now what if we change it back? Because I like the one with the trees. Yeah, look, it's back on now. <laughs> okay. Alrighty, so we're going to have some low density along here. Obviously none this side. And we are now ready to see what we get in here. Right, have a look. <laughs> okay, let's... I've paused it, so let's go through and do that quickly. Okay, so now everybody has water. Hurrah! <laughs> I'll tell you what else is missing from over here. It's some parks and things. Because we have none. And we know how our people love a park. There we are. That's better. And another one there. And another one there. And everybody's happy. And we also haven't got any amenities over here, like schools and such. And of course, with all these new people moving in, we're going to need schools. So a couple of primary schools and a high school. Secondary school, as we call them here in the UK. And a massive, massive police station. And a stupendously large fire house. Just to keep everything covered. Covered, even. And because there is a heck of a lot of trees around here, we're going to stick a watchtower over there as well. I'm not actually sure if we've got the uh, helicopter thing on my bobbity ding dongs in. Right, what's the problem here? Low land value. Ah. Oh, that's why. These are already, like, level 5. Ah, that's not good. I'm sure there's a way to change that. I did see the all-powerful Biffer actually change that. Overall population, overall floors, custom settings. No. Now, in order to obviously get people to move into these things, because they want stupidly high land value. Now, this should be quite high, because it's on the river. But, hmm. Let's have a look at the land value over here. And see what we got. Oh, it's actually not too shabby at the moment. It's kind of... Here-ish. Heading for here. So I think if we give it a little while, that might be all right. Out of the way. Um, how about we give them another something? How about a Japanese garden? That's but that hasn't got a very big area of effect. That's the only problem with that. 
Uh, we want something with a large area of effect. There we go. Oh. Okay. That's made everybody happy. We need to give it a while for the land value to go up because of the parks. Other than that, they've all stayed put. All my tower blocks and things have stayed where I put them, which is fantastic. The last time I put these in, they all just went poof and disappeared out of existence. <laughs> Holy cow, look at all this traffic coming in. Right, uh, the next thing we need to do is turn this into a main thoroughfare. So we get our traffic manager, click on this one, hold shift, and it will do the entire road. All the incoming roads will turn into giveaways. Except for that one. <laughs> um, we also want to uh, do a bit of that. And we want to go around and get rid of a few of these crossings. Because we don't want quite so many. That. And get rid of one of those. Hey, we're a small city. And we get the train. Nice. We can get even more people coming in. Uh, what did we do there? We did that. Okay, let's uh, do a bit of that. I find that City Skylines puts far too many crossings in. And you end up with, like, traffic stop, 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 stop. <laughs> because of... Right, let's hold the control button, put in some dedicated turnings. Ah, oh. marvellous. And I think this area is complete. Oh, our IT cluster is uh, springing up and dying. <laughs> Not enough workers. Okay, so we also need some transportation for this area. Where are our buses? Tell you what we could do with is an underground system because our city is quite spread out now and could do with um, a bit of uh, underground network but the first thing we're going to do is we're going to stick a bus in over here in order to uh, we're driving on the left so come along here like this we're not going to go up into all these um, and then we're going to go along this way. I know it's oh, I know it's kind of around in a circle. There, there you go. And then we come out to our main bus terminal. There, and come back again. Right, let's see how many that put on there. So, Broadmead. Okay, that one goes to Broadmead. Let's change the colour. Rah, 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 rah. And can we change the bus as well? Random. <laughs> uh, it would seem. Ah, okay. Oh, how many did it put on there? Because we don't want a hundred million buses on there. Um, stops 12, vehicles none at the moment, but that'll soon change. 10, okay, we don't want quite that many. People, six will do for now, I think. There we go. Okay, that's the bus up and running. Right, let's go and put some footpaths in because we are going to need them. We are going to encourage people to walk from their houses. There we go. Look at that. And we've already got people waiting at the bus stop. One more thing to do because I want to and it looks good is we're going to decorate the bus stops. Let's bust out the old 
find it mod again. And we're going to use this. No, we're going to use a single one. There we are. And turn him round. Oops. And then get that one. And put it just the other side of it. There we go. Okay, then we get our move it mod out. And we copy that. Uh, and then we just go along and pop that on all of them. Ew, that one didn't come out quite right, did it? Let's uh, a bit of zoomy any. There you go. And there we are. That's all our bus stops marked. Is it all of them, isn't it? Yeah. The rest of them are over here. I'm not sure actually if I did these ones. I don't really need to do these ones because these ones are actually in a bus lane. Which is absolutely job a block. Now. The last time we put a bus garage in here, as in a bus terminal, we had many, many problems. I have been and got a couple of, couple more. So what we're going to do is we're going to move that there and move that over there. Get a shot of that. Right, let's have a look and see what we've got. Oh, that one's back. That's good. Because that one works. I know that one works. Because I've used it. Uh, let's make sure that's not... Uh, yeah, that's what I thought. It's encroaching on the other road. Okay, stop. Move it, mod. Hold that away a minute. Uh, let's have a look. And then see if we can get that in without it encroaching. Oh, we don't want it that side. There you go. Okay. Let's see if we can get these buses to behave and use the bus carriage. Okay, so we're going to take that one and put it away. Okay. They're coming out the back for some odd reason. They're not supposed to, but all right. No, that's not good. What's it doing? It's behaving strangely. I can't move this road. Okay, uh, let's change that. Um, we're gonna have to move this road. Down here, I think. That. Go. Okay. And then hope that that garage fits on this side. It kind of does. We move it to. I don't understand why everything's just. Look, I can just plop that. Oh, no, I can't. I can put it there, which is odd. Because it does encroach on the road behind it. See, I don't want to put this on the main road. That's the thing. But it looks like I might have to. Okay, let's try it. I'm going to put it on the main road. Hope it doesn't cause too many problems with the traffic. All right. Yeah. Why are you going out the back? What are you doing? Stop being stupid. Right, let's start it up. So just all, you know, that's thing. Get all the buses. There we go. One here. Stop. One here. 
Okay. I think I'm not again. What are you doing? Okay, they're all acting very strange. <laughs> right, how many bus routes do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Um, there might not actually be enough two dads in here for these. Move these across. in there. We can double up on a couple of them I suppose. If we can actually find the ones we want. Right, let's do this the easy way. Let's turn everybody off. Turn you on. Okay, you're already in. Good. Turn you off. Turn you off. Turn you on. Ah, that one's not in. There we go. Turn that one off. Turn that one on, that one's in. Turn that one on, that one's bustling five. Where's bustling five? Where are you, bus line five? Ah, you're all the way over there. Ah, okay, so you don't even come over here. That's fine, that's fine. That's fine, that because that means now we have enough for six. You're in there, and you're in there, and you're in there. Okay, let's turn them all back on. Shot that. Okay, so... In theory... <laughs> that should work. Uh, people are waiting in there, that's good. Lots of people waiting there for some strange reason. Uh, people, bus stop is here. <laughs> Let's just see what they're waiting for. They're waiting for a number eight bus, but it's not there. They're waiting for a green bus. Hmm. all those stops there. There you go. Okay. They're right outside the bus garage. And what we will do is we'll give pedestrians access at the back. Like that. So that they can access the access of the access. <laughs> Made of that one, because that's right next door to this. Okay. That's good. Our IT cluster is not faring well over here. I think we need more transportation. Wow. That has filled in a tree. <laughs> Obviously, everything is screaming out for more people and whatnot. But, that will have to wait until we have a need for more people. I'd like to thank you for watching and remind you, if you wouldn't mind, to hit the like button. And come back on Wednesday for more City Skylines and more Rockwood. I'll see you then.